Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a Zeiss Icon, and it is in a snowman core, and a nice, beautiful black body here. So um, I've only picked this twice. Uh, one, I took my time, picked it. Second time, I was getting close, and I hit something just right, and then got it open. So let's see what we can do this time. And I'm starting with a really, really shallow profile, which I usually actually never do. Uh, because this is just a really tight keyway, and these uh, front pins here are super low. There's two. Three doesn't want to move. back there. It's hard to reach. And now I can leave her off of that warding there now that I am in the back. Pin six, nothing. Five, nothing, four, nothing, I'm feeling three, maybe I need a, uh, oh, shit, I had it open. <laughs> That's why I wasn't feeling anything, uh, very interesting, so I think that happened to me last time, so let's go ahead and... Um, like I said, I was moving on it, and then something hit just right. All right, so then, let's see here. Let me screw here, screwdriver. Come on out. I guess that'll do. There we go. I accidentally hit something on my camera when I was moving it. I think I bumped the freaking battery cover and it killed it real quick because it popped open. But uh, here is our core. I imagine that I need to pull this part out right here. And so I wonder if. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. This is a little easier than I expected. Um, I feel like I should get a shim. Because I don't know what extra holes are inside of this plug, and I'd rather not risk it. I'm not risking it off or nothing. Give me a damn heart attack more than anything. All right. Shim shimity, shim shimity, shim shim shuru. If you don't use a shim, it will surely fuck you. There we go. And then we'll just go this way. There's our key pins, good. Sweet. All right. A little smoother than I expected, which is nice. One, two. Oh, looks like there's some master pinning in here. So that probably has something to do with that easy open. The last couple times, too. A couple master pins. All right. So we got three masters on the bottom there. And now. Let's get our drivers out. Hopefully there's no more master pins. So I don't want to fish them out everywhere. Thank you. That's fine. Yep. 
definitely those master pins that made it easier. So there we are. And let's get our key over here as well. So here we go. So yeah, um, got three spools on the top. It actually kind of even looks like the spool. They are tapered spools. The edges are tapered. We got master pins down here. Let me get the spool and show you what I mean by that. So the very tops and bottom of them, you can see how there we go. See how it's kind of slanted and tapered so it makes it get caught easier. So when you're pushing up, it's easier to push this part up. That way it gets caught in here. So yeah, interesting. A little tapered spool on two, three, and four. But yeah, that was a Zeiss Icon. Here's the the body. I know I didn't really show that off too much. Yeah, nice little black body Zeiss Icon snowman, snowman core. A decent bidding. Oh, and what's most important, I was mentioning the keyway. This is what held me up the most is the keyway. So yeah, that thing's a real pain in the ass. So what I did was I had to use a really thin windshield wiper blade about uh, 80 thousandths of an inch, if not thinner. And then I levered off of this right here. So I went in then levered off right there. And the pins, they go through this warding right here. So there's holes where each pin is that go through that warding right there. So you don't have to worry about that. You can lever up through each of those holes. So yeah, I lever off of right there. But you need um, about 19 thousandths pick and also about 80 thousandths um, turning tool. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.